What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping back into Destiny 2 for the weekly reset for September 17th. And as always, in this video, we'll cover any updates from Bungie, as well as key things to know about the game heading into this reset. And as far as we know, this will be the first week for Act 3 at least, where we don't get brand new content, but there'll still be a few things to go after. So we'll cover key rewards and unlocks for the week, as well as the vendors, in particular the Eververse inventory, but also farmable exotics, featured loot and the lost sectors for the week, with a roundup of pretty much everything worth knowing about what's happening. So as always, I hope you find this one useful, and if you do, a rating below really does help us out on the channel, but without further delay, let's get into it. And so initially, we should mention that Act 3 has concluded sort of delivering new content for the moment, as far as we know. Otherwise though, as far as episode content rollout is concerned, this is the final week of Iron Banner for the episode as well. So if you're looking to pick up any of the featured rewards, they'll probably still be available next season, but it's going to be at least a few weeks before the Iron Banner returns. So one more week right now. Also keep in mind that means that Trials won't return this Friday, but Trials will once again be available next week on the 27th of October. Next up though, as we move on to the Eververse inventory for the week, it's worth me mentioning I am away from home, so you probably heard my microphone sort of change right there. I'm on a different setup right here because the first bit of the video was pre-recorded, but nonetheless we can take a look at the Eververse inventory for the week. So starting out on the front page of Bright Dust items, don't forget the free Bright Dust as always, uh, and then on to some of the cosmetics, we've got the Buzz Off Legendary Emote, which is available for 700 Bright Dust. Up next we've got chest pieces uh, for the Universal Ornament sets available in Eververse, and this is the Omega Mechanus Plate uh, this week, of course, available for all three classes, and there'll be 1200 Bright Dust. On top of that, though, we've got the Daito Projection, Ghost Projection right there, which is 1500 Bright Dust. And then, for the shaders, for the front page at least, we've got the Heat Shielded Shader available, that is 300 Bright Dust as always. And additionally, there is the Empirical Imperative Shader available this week for the same cast. And then as we move over to the main Bright Dust section right here, initially we've got the Nothing to See Here uh, exotic emote available, which is 3,250 Bright Dust. That's a rather interesting one. Additionally, uh, we've got quite a few things from this season or this episode. Initially, there is Sand in the Eyes, a legendary emote available there for 700 Bright Dust. On top of that, there is the Golf Tango Shell exotic ghost, which is available for 2,850 Bright Dust. A very curious looking thing indeed. Then uh, for the exotic ship, we've got the Eclipse Hunter, another one from this episode, and that one's up for 2,000 Bright Dust, so pretty cool looking thing. And then there is the Sierra Whiskey available for this week as well, which is 2,500 Bright Dust. But for the weapon ornament, we've got Alone to be Joined, a uh, weapon ornament right here for Drang Barak. Um, so this hasn't been up for quite a while. That's up for 700 Bright Dust. Additionally though, uh, we've got the Ghost Projection, the Tetrahedron, projection which is available for 1500 bright dust yes those are still incredibly expensive onto the second page of shaders we've got the bramble shader that i can never say the first word in that name uh, i haven't got a hope in hell of doing it but that's up for 300 bright dust that's a pretty nice one additionally there is atmospheric glow available this week as well all of the shaders of course are the same cost then there is the spark of joy available too and finally, we've got a new one uh, from this episode, which is the Royal Protector, a pretty nice looking one for 300 Bright Dust. So let us know if you'll grab that. But for the very final items, we've got the Cabal Shield Breaker Transmat Effect. All the Transmat Effects are 450 Bright Dust. Additionally, there is the Catch Flight Entrance available this week. And very finally, the Lattice Entrance from back in Season of Defiance. So let us know if you plan to pick anything up from the Eververse store this week down in the comment section. Then for a very quick look at Banshee's inventory right here, uh, for the featured weapons we've got Scathe Lock, which has got Under Pressure and Adrenaline Junkie. On top of that there is the Dire Promise, this one's got Snapshot Sights and Under Pressure. On top of that then there is the Vision, so this has got Ambitious Assassin and One for All. And then we have the Far Future, which has got Quick Draw and Demolitionist. And very finally there's Temptation's Hook, which is Energy Transfer and On Guard, but keep in mind that the weapons and roles will change throughout the course of the week. And then our final mention is for Shader 1 down here in the Annex. She's got the Prodigal set of armor available once again, so if you need that for either the stat rolls, it's worth checking in on your characters, or just to add to collections, it's up for grabs this week. But for the featured shaders, which has always cost 10,000 Glimmer, we've got Cinderchar available first. That's a pretty nice looking one. On top of that, there is the New Pacific Sink, the worn variant uh, of it. I believe this was a Titan Destination shader from back in the day. And lastly, there is the War Cult Endgame, which is featured this week if you fancy some 
uh, older faction action. So let us know if you plan to grab anything from Ada down in the comment section. Some final content mentions right here. The Nightfall weapon this week should be the Slammer, and Heist Battleground on Europa is the featured strike. So if you need a decent Slammer sword, now's the time to dive in. For the Exotic Mission Rotator though, we've got Dead Messenger dropping from Vox Obscura, so once again, all of the upgrades as well as a legendary loot pool are available and farmable in that mission, so it could be a useful one. But other farmable exotics this week will include 1000 Voices, which can drop from the Last Wish Raid, that's the featured one this week, and Spyro the Watcher, where we can pick up the Hierarchy of Needs, and for both of those activities they're totally farmable, even the final boss checkpoint. So good luck if you are hunting down any of those. Otherwise, for Lost Sectors this week, for today, September 17th, we've got Vel's Labyrinth in the Cosmodrome. And on the right-hand side of the chart, you can see the potential legendary weapon drops associated with those. Those are on top of potentially picking up exotic engrams on solo clears. September 18th, though, we'll see Exodus Garden 2A in the Cosmodrome featured. Then for the 19th, it'll be Broken Deep in the Pale Heart. And we'll remain in Pale Heart for two days after that, so the Blooming Deep will be featured on September 20th, and the Forgotten Deep featured for the 21st. Lastly though, on Europa, we've got Perdition featured for September 22nd, and finally for the 23rd, it'll be Bunkery 15. Otherwise though guys, for today that is everything we have to round up for this week. So as always, I hope the video has been useful, and if it has, a rating down below very much helps us on the channel. In the coming weeks, we're going to start to get even more detail about Episode 2, as well as other possible reveals from Bungie, but Episode 2 is going to be the core part of the conversation, so if you're interested in finding out about that and staying up to date, get subscribed to the channel and I'll keep you posted. Otherwise, let us know in the comment section any stuff you're planning to get wrapped up in the game this week. And for now, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. The threat is serious and imminent. Conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. Guardian, I bring an invitation. It's not too late to accept.